Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for a conversation about a new textbook uh, published by Springer Publishing called Lifespan Development, Cultural and Contextual Applications for the Helping Professions. My name is Dr. Kelly Coker. I am one of the authors of this textbook, and I'm delighted to be here today with my fellow authors to share a little bit about this book, why we're so excited about this book, and how we think it might be helpful to those of you who are working with mental health professionals in training. Uh, let me turn it over to my fellow authors to do quick introductions. Christy, would you like to go next? Yes, happy to. And yes, thank you all for joining us today. My name is Dr. Christy Cannon. I am a counselor educator and current director of counseling programs, assessment and evaluation at Southern New Hampshire University, and really grateful for the chance to share some space with all of you. Savitra, you want to go next? Thank you. I'm Savitra Dixon Saxon. I'm also a counselor educator and a higher ed administrator. And since the book went to press, I've changed roles. So I am now um, senior vice president and provost at Rasmussen University. Hi there, I'm Karen Roller, also a counselor educator and a supervisor at a clinical site overseeing training of students working with migrant families. Uh, professor at Palo Alto University, I'm so grateful to be with this team and with you all today. Thank you all. And I forgot to mention, I'm also a professor at Palo Alto University and a counselor educator. So why did we write this book? Um, as we know, all graduate students in mental health training programs, whether it's psychology, social work, counseling, usually take a course in lifespan or human development. All of us, your co-authors, we have all taught these courses. And we know that sometimes students and faculty can find these courses or this content to maybe be dry, be more didactic or knowledge-based, and sometimes more focused on just traditional theories and models, and really just what do I need to learn to take and pass a test for um, licensure? So we asked ourselves, your authors of this book, some of the questions that are on this slide. And what we decided to do was to really commit to writing a different kind of lifespan book. We wanted to include recent and relevant research on theories of development, we wanted to encourage our students to be critical thinkers about these theories and their use. Um, and we really wanted to include consideration of relevant contextual and cultural considerations for how we understand the developmental process. The final thing we really talked about as we dug into our writing is how do we encourage our future mental health professionals to explore how they can actually use their understanding of human development to inform their clinical work with clients. I think it's a little bit difficult when you do something like this, um, not, to, um, not to just come from a biased perspective, but I'm really excited for everyone who has an opportunity to participate in the learning that uh, this book is designed to facilitate because it is different. It's very different from anything I've experienced in the past. Um, we started out each chapter focusing on an age and stage that was anchored in a case study. I think if you talk to any of us individually, you'll find a significant attachment to those people who are discussed in these case studies because in our own um, way, they were developed out of a love for our profession and a love for clients who um, are so oftentimes underrepresented in our classroom discussions. Um, and then I think through the process of developing these case studies and exploring each age and stage, we felt even it fell more in love with these clients and wanted to make sure that we represented them well. But what was also really important to us is to make sure that our students have an opportunity 
to reflect as they learn, as they go through this process, to spend some time insinuating themselves in, um, in these clinical settings or uh, developing a sense of self-awareness so they can be better clinicians and better helpers. We want students who go through the process of learning in, as they go through this text um, and the supplemental materials to really reflect um, particularly on the contextual and, cont and cultural features of clients and um, to be thoughtful about how we can intervene on our client's behalf or we can support them in um, positive development and growth through the, the use of skills and theories that are appropriate for each individual. Thank you, Savitra. So following our age and stage chapter, where we really dig into the case study of these um, clients that we've come to know and love very deeply, we then anchor their developmental story that we tell you in the theories that exist as they are um, historically and, uh, and with updated research. And so our intention here is to help prepare students by hopefully falling in love with our clients at least a little bit so that they really get engaged with their stories and care about their histories and how that's showing up in their current lived experience. But then with, with this somewhat tangible case study, then bring to life the old theories that our students are definitely going to be tested on and then update our understanding of that and encourage the students to also update their understanding of past theory by using critical thinking and their own lived experience in their classroom setting with each other and with the instructor. And so to further bring to life the old theory and the updated theory with the case studies, we ask experts in the field to record uh, how they would work with our clients in their theoretical frame in the lifespan development issues that are showing up for our clients. And so you will get to hear from these experts in the field about how they would actually bring their work to bear, bearing in mind developmental needs and anchoring that in theory. And some of that theory might be what we've addressed in great detail in the book. And some of it might be something that wasn't centered as much and therefore is even more important to address in a novel way through the podcast because there hasn't necessarily been extensive research already done with updated theory, but it's, it's time to do that. So we hope that by hearing the experts and reading some of the imaginary conversations that we've had with our clients in session here, that your students will start to get a hands-on feel for how you bring lifespan development into session. <laughs>